All right, guys, before we start the video, make sure you have the notification bells on. We're going live tonight. We're going to talk about if we got a W or L on these Bread 11s and the Yeez Real 350 V2s, man. Enjoy the rest of the video, the first ever weekly sneak rotation that dropped on the Vintage World channel, man. Let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, The Vintage Man, back at it again with another video. And today, I'm going to be doing my first, my first ever weekly sneaker rotation on the channel man so i hope you guys are about to enjoy it make sure y'all hit the like button right now that really helps the channel grow make sure you subscribe if you ain't subscribed already and have the notification bells on so you never miss another live stream post notification anything that's dropped on the channel youtube will notify you when it drops so hit that notification bell right now for your boy also follow me over on ig at the world man link will be in the description box below most of the times i post what i wear on my instagram story so make sure you go follow me over there and go look at all my recent photos that i dropped over there man so my link but my IG will be in the description box below. If you want to buy some cheap shoes for the Christmas time, go hit that link in the description box below as well to hit theventuresworld.bigcartel.com to buy a lot of the shoes that I have for sale, man. That's the last wave of shoes I'm selling ever again for a long time. So make sure you go take advantage of that cheap shoe sale right now at theventuresworld.bigcartel.com. So all that being said, all my little intro, all my little spill out, we're going to get right into my first ever weekly sneak rotation, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so I used to watch a lot of weekly sneaker rotations. I wanted to see what bigger YouTubers were wearing, stuff like that, and I found it interesting. I liked it, I liked the content they brought. But me, I wanna do a little different. Uh, I haven't watched one in a long time, so maybe it ain't that much different. But I'm gonna run through every shoe that I rocked. Uh, I'm gonna stop it for today. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm rocking today. And in between each shoe, I'm gonna throw in like a little short 10 to 15 second on feet for you guys to see how I kind of match the jeans with the shoe that day. And I'm kind of run through what I did that day and stuff like that. I'm not trying to make the video too long, but I do want to show you guys uh, what sneakers I wore for this week, man. Number one weekly sneaker rotation. So, with all that being said, let's jump right into the first shoe that I rocked on Sunday, man. All right, check it out, check it out. We have the Kenny Kane 14s. As y'all do know, the Kansas City Chiefs played the New England Patriots this past Sunday, and we put a little beating on the Patriots. I thought they were gonna come back, but they didn't. But I wore these shoes. I wore like some blue jeans, I think, and it's a regular white shirt, and I wore my Chiefs hat. Y'all already know I'm a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. And uh, yeah, man, this is the shoe that I pulled out. I could wear any uh, white and red 14s and stuff like that to go with the Chiefs, you know what I'm saying, colors. But I went with the 14s, you know what I'm saying? I went with the Candy Cane 14s, one of my favorite 14s in my collection. And uh, yeah, so right now in the comments section below, let me know if you have this shoe in your collection. Let me know if you're feeling Sunday sneaker pick. And uh, yeah, we're all the man seven. We're gonna jump right to this quick on feet and we're gonna hop into the next sneaker from Monday, man. Let's get it. All right, guys, so Monday, I had to run up to my school real quick, had to submit some paperwork, stuff like that. And the shoe that I rocked, the shoe that I wear the most out of my whole collection, that I'm just now realizing this, is the 700 Salts, man. Check them out right here. They go with pretty much anything. Any color jeans you want to wear, black jeans, blue jeans, gray jeans, anything. This shoe right here goes with it all, man. So this shoe is very reliable. Uh, you can beat it up. You can tell I just wore these so many times. When you see the on feet, you're going to see it, like all the wear and tear on these 700s. But I wear these more than I wear my Wave Runners. I used to wear my Wave Runners a lot. But now, these right here, the Salts, are definitely taking place for my number one most worn shoe in my collection, man. Very reliable, goes with anything, everything. Like I said, I wore these on the way to my school, had to drop some paperwork and stuff like that off. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how they look on feet. And you guys let me know right now if you have any 700s and let me know if you have the salt 700s. This is probably one of the least favorite 700 colorways uh, in my opinion, but this is one of my favorites. So y'all let me know if y'all got it. Let me know if y'all rock with 700. And we're gonna jump right into this quick on feet over the salt 700s, man. Let's get it. <music> All right, so on Tuesday, I went to go hoop, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that's maybe the last day I went to go hoop, I think. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday was the last day I went to go hoop. I was telling myself I was going to start hooping in 11s. I was even talking about this in my live stream yesterday. I was like, man, I want to start hooping in 11s. I might get the breads and hooping the breads. Uh, but I had these on. I was like, man, these feel a little comfortable. Let me see how, I, how I'm liking them. I was around the house, so like that. I was like, nah, I'm not going to wear these on the court. I can't do it. This all over gym red uh, patent leather, man. I had to keep it diet. I had to keep it looking nice, I had to keep it to where I can wear it with a lot of my outfits. Cause you know when you hoop in and stuff, you get a lot of scuff marks and stuff like that. You mess up your shoes a lot faster than wearing it regularly, you know what I mean? So 
I didn't hoop in it. I just wore them to the gym. You know, I switched over to my Kobe's and now I still got these things looking real clean, man. So let me know right now if you have these 11s in your collection. This is probably one of the dopest 11s they ever released in my opinion. And it's a non-OG colorway. So y'all let me know how y'all feeling it. Let me know how y'all feeling Tuesday's pick. And uh, with all that being said, we're gonna jump right into, you already know, Tuesday sneaker on feet, man. So let's get it. All right, guys, so on Wednesday, your boy uh, really didn't go anywhere all that day. I even said it on a live stream as well. Check into the lives, man. Y'all gonna learn a lot about me. We're gonna chop it up. We're gonna talk about a lot of different stuff. But all I did later that night, Wednesday, I did a lot of homework. I was like, man, I gotta do this homework. I gotta do this homework. I just kept doing homework all day. I was like, I gotta leave the house. I gotta get some fresh air. And so I went to uh, the gas station. I picked me up some snacks and stuff like that. And then I brought it right back to the house. So I wore these literally for like five minutes because the gas station is right up the street. But Hey, I knew I wanted to do a sneaker rotation, my first one ever. And I had to, you know, say I had to throw some in there. I had to throw some Yeezys in there. I mixed it up with some Jordan and some Yeezys. Uh, but here we have it, the Lumark 350 V2s. Very dope colorway, very reliable as well. When you're speaking about like a neutral colorway, pretty much goes with any jean variation in my opinion. I didn't wear jeans with this when I went to the store, but I'm gonna throw some jeans on for this so you guys can see how it looks, man. So here goes uh, Wednesday's pick right here. It's a shoe I wanted to rock. Y'all let me know if y'all got any 350s. Let me know if y'all got the Lumarks in general. Let's get some conversation going in the comments section below. And hit the like button right now if you haven't hit it already. So let's get right into the own feet over the 350 Lumarks, man. Let's get it. All right, so yesterday, if you have not watched the Nike Outlet vlog that I dropped, and I even talked about the Bread Lemons, and I talk about these shoes right here, man. The Air Jordan 4 winners. I wore these all day yesterday, all the way up to uh, the outlets. Very dope shoe. And I kind of gave you guys some advice. Go up a half a size, please. Because if you go true to size in these, they're going to be snug on your feet and you're going to be mad. Because I was kind of getting a little irritated. My toes, my feet was hurting a little bit. I was like, man, I should have went up a half a size. Or if you go true to size, just take out the insoles. That's the uh, advice I would give you. That's what Top said he does too, because he went true to size on his early pair of Air Jordan 4 winners. It was too tight, so he just took the insole out and it was just good like that. So either take out the insole if you go in true to size, or just go up a half a size and you'll be just fine with these Air Jordan 4 winners, man. But very dope shoe. Uh, you guys will see them on feet. If you want to check out an early review over these guys, because they're still early, man. I got these like a whole month and a half early. Go check out my video I dropped last week over the Air Jordan 4 winners. See some dope visuals over these Air Jordan 4 winners. And uh, yeah, let's jump right to this on feet, man. Let's get it. All right, so now we're gonna wrap it up today. I told you guys that I was gonna either wrap it up for Friday or Sunday, but I'm gonna start it off for the next weekly single rotation starting tomorrow. But tonight, your boy will be rocking the Supreme 14s. I was like, I don't know if I wanna rock another pair of 14s because I did rock the Candy Cane 14s. I was like, nah, I'm gonna rock these. I ain't warm in a while. Uh, I remember when I first got them, I was beating this pair up. That's because I only had so many shoes in my collection because all my shoes is coming from Germany. Uh, but we have them right here. Check them out. Air Jordan 14 Supremes. Check them out right there. Got the Supreme on the back. Got the 2-3. Very dope shoe. Even got Supreme on tongue right here. And of course, you got the 14 on the back. I didn't do a review over this shoe. I wish I did because I know a lot of people would have watched this one. I know a lot of people was rocking with the Supreme collab on the 14s. I know I was. They even got the blue and black pair as well. But very different. You got the studs all around the shoe. You guys will see that better on on feet. Let me know if you have any Supreme and Jordan collaboration. They dropped like a 5. They dropped a 14. And I think they dropped one other silhouette, I'm not for sure. But let me know if you have any Supreme and Jordan collaborated sneakers, man. Yeah, this is the last sneaker for the weekly sneaker rotation. So let's jump right into the own feet over these Supreme 14s, man. Let's get it. Alright guys, that's it for my first ever weekly sneaker rotation. Very lit. I appreciate everybody for tuning in. Hit that like button right now. Uh, I'm going to try to drop this every single week. I'm not going to promise you guys nothing yet. This kind of takes a lot of dedication to you know, what I'm saying, put on some heat or put on any kind of sneakers throughout the week. Because usually I wear like 
either these every day or I rock my slides, my sample slides. So, so guys, hit the like button right now. Give me some motivation to, you know what I'm saying, pull out some of these shoes I ain't worn in a long time. Help me out. And I'm gonna drop these videos for y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the like button, please, for your boy. It really helps the channel grow. It shows YouTube. Uh, you guys are enjoying the content and they push it and they recommend it to other people that love sneaker content. Follow me over on IG at DaVinci's World. Link will be in the description box below. And go shop DaVinci'sWorld.BigCartel.com. You can get you some shoes for cheap. Every shoe on there is going from like size nine to size nine and a half. And those shoes are going for over 180 bucks. So go shop DaVinci'sWorld.BigCartel.com. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you for tuning in. And with all that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys in tonight's live stream, man. We're going live tonight. Peace.